The new symbol. Explaining ruins everything. Nothing gets more interesting on closer inspection. Ever since I was a child, I saw pictures in random blobs of paint splattered on a window, in the spackling on the ceiling of my room, in the nap of the carpet. Taking a nap on the carpet, the obvious corollary was to find satisfaction in noise, to be delighted in nonsense literature. I'm not a big fan of S.J. Perlman, but his rare nonsense pieces are great. While not strictly a nonsense writer, Robert Benchley comes close. Strange that someone born in 1969 would have been so influenced by Benchley. Born in 1969. Born in 1969. The end of the 60s. The tail end of the 60s. Born almost on the right day, according to some Buddhist beliefs, to be Jack Kerouac reincarnated. Maybe that's how I was able to give up drinking. I have accepted the subgenius teaching that one needs a constantly evolving and revolving set of symbols to lean on, sometimes from hour to hour. You must make it through the day, not through the next hour, sometimes through the next five minutes. Sometimes when I'm at my place of employment, I start thinking about my children or my grandparents, and I start to cry. I start to cry there on the work floor. My eyes well up with tears, and I have to get control of myself. Henry Rollins speaks of getting out of control in his non-drug way, but I can't lose control even on drugs. I can't lose myself even in the midst of a crowd. I was never a part of any scene. I never felt part of the collective youth, even when I was a youth. But this is the beginning of explanation, and one cannot explain even if one wanted to, for the new symbol is a negative image of a nose seen among the reaching branches of the trees. 